Scientists around the world are calling it the discovery of the decade right in our own backyard, even saying that it's worthy of the next Nobel Prize in physics. A gravitational wave from an outer space event billions of years ago has been detected in Livingston, and our Jaron Jordan has that story. Did you hear the chirp? If you're not ready, you'll miss it, so listen once again. We have detected gravitational waves. We did it. Gravitational waves, they're what scientists are calling the keys to understanding parts of our universe that have until now been nothing more but theories. That's one of the beautiful things about this. We are not only going to be seeing the universe, we are going to be listening to it. The discovery of this science factualizes and proves the existence of black holes and their possible impacts on our world. It coincides with the 100-year anniversary of Albert Einstein's theories of relativity, time, and space, all which can now be supported with this small yet substantial data. They merge and there's this burst of gravitational waves that travels for 1.3 billion years. It passes through everything and eventually gets to the Earth. And what it's going to do is stretch and compress space as these waves pass. The waves were initially detected at the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, more commonly known as LIGO, in Livingston and Hanford, Washington. In both facilities, the on-duty operators at the times of the detections were LSU and Southern graduates, both now bursting with pride. It's almost a real in, in, in a sense for me right now, but because I'm, I'm still taking it all in, but it, you know, it's just amazing, and the words can't really describe how, um, how important it is you know, to me right now. It took 1.3 billion years for those gravitational waves to make it to the Earth and be picked up here at LIGO in Livingston, and it was in these very detectors that the course of how scientists communicate with the universe was changed forever. 400 years ago, Galileo turned a telescope to the sky and opened the era of modern observational astronomy. I think we're doing something equally important here today. Riding the wave in Livingston, I'm Jaron Jordan, WAFB 9 News.